So hey everyone and welcome back and today I'm going to be showing you how to do screen pumps in Premiere Pro so yeah let's get started. First of all you want to have your clip ready I've got mine right over here. You want to head over to the effects box and type in transform and it should be this one underneath distort. Drag it onto your clip and what you want to do first of all is tick the uniform scale box and then you want to untick this box as well use composition shutter angle and the shutter angle you want to set to 180 and now this is where the keyframing comes in so what you want to do is click on the stopwatch over here next to scale. Make sure you set the keyframe at the beginning of the clip and you want to change the value to around 200. Head about 8 keyframes ahead, so 5, 6, 7, 8. And then set it back to 100 and then what you want to do is click on this arrow next to the stopwatch and it's going to bring down this graph. Now what you want to do is just zoom in, click on the second keyframe and click and hold the bar all the way to the left. Make sure it's on level, so right over here, not too high and not too low, so right over here. So now as you can see, you've got this scale out. Head about 8 keyframes ahead from the second keyframe, so 5, six seven eight set the keyframe to 150 zoom in onto the two keyframes so we can see them pull the second keyframes bar all the way to the right and you want to pull the third ones to the right so just over here so this bump is more closer to the right side so before it was over here you want to move it over there head about six keyframes ahead so five six and then you want to set it to 100 zoom in once again and you're going to pull the one on the right to the left and then pull this one on the left all the way back so just a about there and so far it should look like this but if you are seeing some weird black outlines then that means you've scaled it out too much so if I do zoom it back in if I click on this keyframe and just pull it up slightly, you can see that it gets rid of the black outline. And finally, you want to head towards the end, but just one keyframe back, otherwise it's just going to be a black video and set it to whatever you like. So I'm going to do 200, zoom back in, and then for this keyframe, I'm going to pull it all the way to the right. And for the last keyframe, I'm going to pull the handle to the right as well. So about there. So if I do zoom out and play it back, it should look like this for you. Now I noticed one issue once again, and as you can see, there are black outlines once again so if I do zoom in to where it's occurring and just pull it up a little not too high so just about there and now if I do play it back it's all gone and it looks like a nice pump the next part requires s shake but you don't have to use it but it does make it look much better so if you do add the s shake effect onto your clip and then just put it above the transform effect set the frequency to 2 open up the x shake and set everything to 0 and the same goes for the y shake as well set it all to 0 head over to tilt shake and what we want to do over here is set the tilt wave amp to 1 and also the tilt wave frequency to 1 as well. Playing it back you can see that there's this tilt shake and I think it does look much better and less stiff. You can also add an extra clip at the end so the scale looks better as you can see right there. But anyways that's all you need to do so thank you for watching, have a great day and I will see you next time so yeah, peace.